Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Beginner's Guide. This is Wheel Trouble, and I do apologize for any hiccups or audio quality issues. I'm having to experiment. The first video from the Beginner's Guide wound up with a time sync issue between the video and the audio, and I'm hoping I can correct it here. We'll see what happens. Now let's see, when we left off, there was the intro, which was October 2008. Chapter 1, Whisper, which was November 2008. Chapter 2, Backwards, which was November 2008. Chapter 3, Entering, again, November 2008. Chapter 4, Stairs, which was the one with the neat gaming ideas, December 2008. Uh, let's see, there was Chapter 5, Puzzle, which was 2009 of January. And then, I believe, let's see, we had Chapter 6, which was Exiting, January 2009. Chapter 7 was Down, which we had just finished, as I recall. That was the one with the blockheads in it. And that was March 2009. So here we are, April 2009, in Chapter 8, starting with Notes. This game is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. All notes you see are left by other players. Nice room. Not. We'll read as many of these as possible. These get kind of funny. So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're gonna see have been written by Coda. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over-enthusiastic. But he was very gracious about it, and very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. How do you beat this game? No point to this. Holy cow. I dare say that's actually stunning. Sure, it's all polygons, but it's a beautiful arrangement of them. Whoa, holy shit, yeah, uh, yeah. Can you guys hear me? Can I walk off here? No, okay. So we are trapped here. Interesting little tidbit, you'll notice the unread notes are in blue. The red notes are in white. Hello. Reasonable. Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, to me they convey a sense of loneliness. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. You know, I'm gonna... But it's ironic, isn't it? That in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked Coda's games so much, is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely too. This narrator is the one who has issues, I think. I mean, yes, obviously, since this isn't connected to the internet, 
we are seeing Coda's thoughts, sure, but... By the same token, saying getting to know someone is messy, it's the time investment that makes it worth it. Asshole. Everyone read this. Not a problem. Hey! This place makes me sad. I can see that, yeah. I want to tell you a secret. Once upon a time, I did. Did what? Define fun. I'm king of the world at the edge. Okay, so Coda may have been a Titanic fan. Balls. Yes. Lots and lots of fluffy balls. How is there wood and grass and concrete here? What the fuck? Little. Do not be afraid. Do care. That sounds like a plea for help if there ever was one. This game is no nice. I would like it when I could. Okay. <laughs> Do you feel like a hero yet? Nope. In a world full of notes, one man will read them read all of them. This summer. You will believe blue speech bubbles can talk. <laughs> Cute. Why? There are too many messages in this area. Hey, I can type here. The guy over there wrote much wrong, says the guy with no punctuation. I'd rather be doing literally anything other than playing this, then why the hell are you wasting your time even typing? <sighs> We're running out of space. Soon we will suffocate. Cool cavern, bro. But, hey, we gotta update this a little bit. Cool cavern, brah. You're welcome. I just saw a flying penguin. Let me tell you, it was the most majestic thing I have ever seen. I don't feel like living because nothing will ever be as majestic as that. I never want to see anything again if nothing will ever be that beautiful again. I am crying now and plan on ripping my eyes out. I must go do that. What the hell? Linux fan? What the shit is this cavern? Eloquent, dude. Boring. I can assure you, guaranteed, that there is an acorn somewhere, here, in this place, and the sailors are looking for it. That is a reference to something that I don't get. Can I jump off? No. Still can't. Hey guys, just looking for someone to talk to. That seems like one of Coda's pleas for help if there ever was one. You know, there was one time I did actually think about constructing an AI. Just a little kind of DOS box prompt system, just to kind of keep me company. Never went through with it, but I would imagine that it would be something similar to this, where you give it a certain stimulus and it responds. The only problem that I ran into with it is since I programmed it, it would respond like I would want to. Wonder if that's why this got abandoned. I refuse to believe. But ass butt. Triplicate redundancy, cute. I need to go to the frickin' bathroom. You have no holes. Recognize me, please. I recognize that you are a dot. There is nothing here. Go back. Don't listen to that guy. Yeah, no kidding. A free t-shirt. Need the other side. Door, why you so... 
door how open? Open sesame. Makes game includes door. Cannot open door. Thanks. It's because it's not a door, guys. Did anyone else notice the doge reference? wonder if that's out of time. Someday, I will meet the person who made this. I help people because of the internal good feeling I get. There's a codaism. New room. With dots. This whole world is dots. I think this guy just wanted some ice cream. Do you hear the chimes? They keep going, don't they? Or keep you going, don't they? I would like very much to be desired. Now we're getting somewhere. Scared of writing something. Don't want to feel judged. It's not very crowded here. You can go in here, I think. Don't tell that to the guy that wanted to go to the bathroom. Eh, don't bother. A game where you leave notes and suddenly everyone is a poet. Welcome. Congratulations. I don't really know where to go with this. This is where I get off. That was so very wrong. I failed to write anything here. Hipsters. I am compelled to jump off the edge to sing a song. Tell me your innermost thoughts, Dots. Stop. Turn back. Proceeding further will only result in misery. Yeah, some of these are pretty darn depressing, dude. Take my hand. Let's jump together. If I thought I could get to the other side, I would. Cabbage shapes our nation. Yes. Yes, they did. What is that painting? I think it's a map of all the dots. It does not matter if you ever get over there. Hey, don't talk about me that way. Clever. Very good game. Self-depreciating ego stroke. I think this is not going anywhere. Next time I will do better. This level is awesome looking. I need someone to talk to. You've hinted at that before, Coda. Is this a note? Don't listen to the other notes. I'm not safe. Today, I learned you cannot fall off. Ethical. I saw a person walking down there. Now it won't come back. Devil's Tower Star. Can someone please explain that reference to me? Thank you. I promise I'll read the comments. Well done, all of you. What is your basis for comparison? Painting. What does it mean? Painting is the act of taking paints and acrylics and whatnot, well I guess acrylics are a style of paint, and putting them on the, some sort of canvas, be it metal, canvas, uh, brick, concrete, and trying to make art out of it. If you really must know. Stop faking it. That's what she said. 
whoever made this has issues. <laughs> I think that's exactly why this was made, was to work out those issues. Art. Hey guys, how's it going? Just hanging. Help, I am trying to speak. You're a dot dude, you won't. I think it's about how things look messy from up close and perfect from far away. We were pretty far back, it didn't look perfect there either. From up here, it just looks like dots. Cabbage shapes our nation. You guys have some really weird political affiliations. We will all die soon. You're drunk. Who are all of you? Stop pretending you are other people. Spoilers, it doesn't mean anything. It's about how this game is pretentious and you all suck. It is a little bit, actually. Devil Tower Star. I think that was Coda's password. Maybe I'll feel real someday. He was, himself, the most horrible creature he could imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I think we all go through that. Well, I'm here now. Yeah, we're all here now. There must be a reason for it, though. His terrible secret. He kept it well. I beat the game. More room? At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. Scared of writing something. Don't want to feel judged. Escape. Escape. Need an escape. The voice is here. I think Coda just wanted some friends. He cut it up. He spread it between worlds. Almost there. I have seen everything. I have traveled the world. I have never told anyone. I wish there were notes in the real world. Become one with the spiraling nonsense. Downward, keep digging. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. You close your eyes and wish for it really bad. Almost at the end. Does this puzzle have a solution? Oh my god, I've been here for literally an hour. What the fuck do I do? How? How? This doesn't make any sense. The second door won't open. Shit, how do you solve it? Developer, answers please. Spoilers. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. I'm headed back to the start. See you later, guys. 
guys, it's not so bad in here. Huh? Uh, no answer, I think. There is no second switch. No solution. How do you leave notes? Are you there? Please say something. It can be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty talking? Speak. 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 Loading. Porn stars die too. Okay, this one is tough. It's gonna kinda just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Cute little view outside. Beautiful skyline though. Why am I in a well? See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. <laughs> really? What furniture ought to go in the center of the room? Option one, how about a TV with surround sound? Option two, a refrigerator. Option three, put a giant hole in the ground. Let's go with three. And it's a table. Okay, now what about along the wall of the room? Option one, let's put a huge picture of a horse. Option two, I'd really like a washing machine. Option three, 10 stoves lined up along the wall. To absurdity and beyond. I think we should light up this room a bit. Option one, a skylight. Full ceiling window, let's open this baby up. Option two, I'm thinking 10 by 12 recessed electric six inch soft LED ceiling lights with fluorescent trim. Three. We'll put in live Tesla coils in each corner. Yeah. That is not a Tesla coil. And a table. You need a table. I have a table. Option one. Who are you? Where exactly are you in this room? Or in this... Where exactly are you doing this from? My bad, guys. Option two, I'm pretty sure none of my choices are making any difference. Option three, tables were invented in 1935. That's an outright lie. I'm pretty sure my choices don't make a difference. Whoa. Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. It's a maze. So, okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Hello. Please walk forward. This guide will enable you to escape any prison environment. Follow the instructions carefully. Take care that you remember each step. First, click on this table. Good. Go over to the photo frame and click to turn it slightly. There's those three dots again. Anyway, photo to reposition it. Okay. 
Now turn the floor lamp in this room off, then turn it back on. Now go to the left side sofa and move it over a little. Finally touch the shelves. That's it. In real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start and be taken back to your prison. Return. And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside, and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this, this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop, that particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going, and then he hits on something, and he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created, and the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. so bloom and dark that it's impossible to explore. The doctor is paying us a visit? Cool. Interesting. There's a wall here. Yes, we're supposed to go into the telephone booth. Hello. Who is this? Option one. Hey, it's me. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. You're me? So you were trapped in this prison too? Option one. Yep. It's a conversation. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. Option one. Yep, I was in the furniture maze. Option two. Yep, I was in the escape tutorial. Option three. Yep. I was in the reverse prison. Let's call it the escape tutorial. That's where I am right now. Oh, I'm so glad to know that I get out eventually. What's it like to escape? Option one. Actually, I'm already forgetting what the prison what being in the prison was like. Option two, it's strange. But in a way, I kind of miss being in the prison. Option three. It feels like being completely still and wildly in motion at the same time. A little bit of psychology here. Most people tend to like their prisons. That's kind of the basis behind Stockholm Syndrome. Most people are resistant to change. So I'm actually going to go with option two. I know that sounds really funny, but think about the vices in your lives. That's why habits are hard to kick. Why? Was there anything about it that felt that you felt good about? Being here sucks. Option one. True. Maybe I only like things once I don't have them anymore. Option two. It was comfortable. 
I knew its limits, but I knew my place. Option three. But don't you feel excited about getting out? The promise of freedom? Going with option two. Is that good, though? It's comfortable, but it's inhuman. I couldn't live this way. Option one. You don't need to. You just need to be patient. Option two. Having limits is way more important than you probably realize right now. Option three. You'll see what I'm talking about when you've been there for a while longer. Just be patient. Time has a way of forcing people to change whether they want to or not. Wait, if you're me, then did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? Option one. No, I think I'm the first person to call back. Option two. Yes, I did get a call. That's how I escaped. We didn't get a call. Then can you tell me how you get, uh, how to get out? Maybe I can come find you. What do I have to do? Option one. To get out, all you have to do is be sincere. Option two. To get out, you need to tell me how you feel right now. Option three. To get out, just talk with me for a bit. You'd be amazed what introspection can do. What? That will free me? How does that work? Option one. Listen. You can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Option two. Just talk to me. Option three. It will make sense. Okay, I can talk. Let's just talk for a bit. Will you be here? I'll be here for as long as you need. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? Loading. Thanks for so joining. So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? At any rate, like I was saying, that's where we're going to leave off. We'll pick up next time with Chapter 3 of uh, Let's Play the Beginner's Guide. This is Wheel Trouble signing off.